there, boys and girls, and welcome to our last lesson on time and the clock. So far, we have learned about o'clock, quarter past, and half past times on the analog clock, and we have also learned about the digital clock. Today, we will be learning one more time on the analog clock, which is the time quarter to. If you remember, we learned last week that a quarter is when something is divided equally into four parts. So a circle shape, which is just like a clock face, broken into four pieces, looks like this. Each of these sections is called a quarter, and each quarter on a clock marks 15 minutes of time, adding up to a whole round clock of 60 minutes. 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15. When we placed one quarter of pizza on the right side of the clock, it helped us to visualise what number the big hand points to for quarter past times, which was the number three. Well done! Today, we will place a quarter on the opposite side of the clock. Where do you think the big hand will point to for a quarter to time? Good guess! Nine! The number directly opposite three. Let's explain a little further. You have to imagine our analogue clock divided into two sections. The section on the right is known as the past side and the side on the left is known as the two side. This is because as the minutes of time pass on the clock, the times go from past times to two times. Let's look at this on the teaching clock. This clock says the time four o'clock. If five minutes pass, we call it five past. If ten minutes pass, we say ten past. If fifteen minutes pass, we call it, well done, quarter past. Then 20 minutes, 20 past, 25, 25 past, and then we come to the 30 minute mark, which we call half past, because it's halfway between the hour. So basically, as the big hand moves from minute to minute on this side of the clock, the minutes are moving past the hour. Once they cross over the halfway mark, however, the minutes are then moving towards the next hour, which is why we call this side the two side. They are going to the next hour. So the time here is moving from the hour of four o'clock to the hour of five o'clock. And as I move the minute hand of the clock on from the halfway mark, the minutes are now heading to the next hour. And when I land on the number nine, it means I am a quarter to the new hour of five, because there are 15 minutes left until it is five o'clock. In other words, there is one quarter of the hour left until it is five o'clock. So the rule is, when it is a quarter to time, the big hand always points to nine. But what about the little hand? On the past side of the clock, the little hour hand was always a little bit past the hour. But on the two side of the clock, the little hand is always going to be a little bit before or close to the next hour. For example, quarter to seven. The big hand points to nine and the little hand is a little bit before or very close to seven. Here we have the time quarter to one. The big hand points to nine and the little hand is a bit before or very close to the
the hour of one, because it's almost one o'clock, but just not quite yet. Let's see if you can guess these times. Well done! Quarter to eleven. Try this one. What time is it? Well done. Quarter to eight. And this one. Well done. Quarter to twelve. OK, now let's practice all the times we know together. What time is it here? Well done. Two o'clock. Let's make it quarter past two. Visualize where you think those hands will be. Well done. Quarter past two. Big hand at three and little hand a little bit past the hour of two. Now let's make it half past two. Visualize where you think the hands will be. Well done. Half past two. Big hand pointing to six and little hand a little bit past the hour of two. Now let's try making it quarter to three because we're now going to be moving closer to the hour of three. Visualize where you think the hands will be for a quarter to time. Well done. Quarter to three. Big hand points at nine and the little hand very close to the hour of three. And finally, three o'clock. Visualize where the hands will be. Well done. Big hand pointing to twelve and little hand at exactly three because it is exactly three o'clock. Let's move from three o'clock to four o'clock together. So now it's three o'clock. Moving on 15 minutes, it is now quarter past three. Moving on another 15 minutes, it is now half past three. Moving on another 15 minutes, it is now quarter to four. And moving on the final 15 minutes, it is now four o'clock. Practice these times on the teaching clock yourself so you can get really good at telling the time. Now we are going to move on to earlier than and later than times. I am going to give you a time at the start and you must tell me what you think it is. So, what time is it now? Well done. It is nine o'clock. It is night time in my story and Mary is asleep in bed. But she went upstairs to bed an hour earlier than this. What time did Mary go to bed at? What is an hour earlier than nine? In other words, when you are counting backwards, what is the number before nine on the clock? Well done. The answer is eight o'clock. OK, here's another one. What time is it now? Well done. It is three o'clock. Tom leaves school at three o'clock. He has football training one hour later. What time has he got football training at? What is an hour later than three o'clock? What is the hour or number that comes after three when you're counting? Well done. 
The answer is four o'clock. Now for a tricky one. What time is it here? Well done, one o'clock. Jane is eating her lunch. But an hour earlier in the day, she was playing with her friend Mark. What time was she playing with her friend Mark? What is an hour earlier than one o'clock? Here is the tricky part. What number comes before one on the clock? Well done. The answer is 12 o'clock. Now let's get even trickier. What time is it now? Well done. It is quarter past ten. What would an hour earlier than quarter past ten look like? What is the hour that comes before quarter past ten? What number comes before ten on the clock? Well done. Quarter past nine is an hour earlier than quarter past ten. Let's make it quarter past ten again. What is an hour later than quarter past ten? What is the hour after quarter past ten? What number, in other words, comes after ten on the clock? Well done. Quarter past eleven. So if we look at all three clocks together, we can see what the hour earlier than quarter past ten was, quarter past nine, and what the hour later than quarter past ten was, quarter past eleven. The last two examples we are going to work on today are half an hour earlier or later times. Let's start with this. What time is it here? Well done. Half past four. What is half an hour earlier? Notice I said half an hour earlier, not an hour earlier. So half an hour on the clock, we know, is 30 minutes. So the question means, what is 30 minutes before half past four? We move the big hand back by 30 minutes. Can you guess what time it will be? Well done. Half an hour earlier than half past four is four o'clock. Now we are going to try and figure out half an hour later. So here is half past four again, just like at the beginning. But now, can you guess what half an hour later than half past four will look like? So 30 minutes after half past four. Well done. Half an hour later is five o'clock, as that's the next hour. So if we look at all three clocks together, we can see what half an hour earlier than half past four was, four o'clock, and over here, what half an hour later than half past four was, five o'clock. Okay, last one. Now this one is super tricky, so pay attention as best you can. What time is it now? Well done. It is quarter past eight. Now what is half an hour earlier? Notice once again I have said half an hour earlier, not an hour earlier. So half an hour on the clock we know is 30 minutes. So the question means, what is 30 minutes before quarter past eight? We move the big hand back by 30 minutes. Can you guess what time it will be? Let's move the big hand back 30 minutes by jumping in fives. Five, ten, fifteen, 
twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Well done. And where have we landed? Half an hour earlier than quarter past eight is quarter to eight. Now that's tricky. Let's find out what half an hour later will look like. So, the time is now quarter past eight again, like at the start. But this time, can you guess what half an hour later than quarter past eight will look like? So, that's 30 minutes after quarter past eight. We will have to move the minute hand forward by 30 minutes. Here we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And where have we landed? What time is it? Well done. Quarter to nine. So half an hour later than quarter past eight is quarter to nine. So if we look at all three clocks together again, we can see what half an hour earlier than quarter past eight was, quarter to eight, and over here, what half an hour later than quarter past eight was, quarter to nine. Great job, guys. The most important thing to remember about the clock and reading the clock is that practice makes perfect. So keep practicing at home as much as you can and get a grown-up to revise all the elements of time that you have learned in second class. See you next week, guys. Bye.